we have here three different types of lamp that give out a deep purple. We've got on the left we've got an old metal filament lamp which is defined as a purple light. We don't know whether it gives out UV. As it stands it probably doesn't. It's just a purple coloured lamp which is and has a squirrel cage filament. It's, it's, an, it's old. It's probably 30s or 40s but it's a, a violet or a purple light. Next we have a compact which is called a ProLite Plus 15 watt 240 50 hertz. It's got the CE stamp so it's been accepted for the, uh, the European market. It's a black glass supposedly to give out UV or in all honesty it does not say it's UV on the lamp in any way but we'll assume that it, it could be. The last bulb we have is a type which is sold in shops, party shops, um, other types of electrical shops and it's called a black light. Now here's the box, black light with the details on it. In all honesty it does not say UV, it just says black light. Now normally if you buy a tube, a black light tube, it is in fact will give out UV. It's a coating of a special substance which converts the rays or prevents certain rays getting through. The tubes are normally made of quartz glass which allows the UV to actually penetrate the, the glass. Anyhow this is simply a 75 watt black light bulb. It fits into every household lamp. It has a life expectancy of 480 hours under normal use. This black light bulb gets very hot when in use and should be cooled before touching. Now I have also got the English version of this bulb which is exactly the same. This one in fact is the American one and the one that's about to drop on the floor is the English version. They are both outwardly identical. Possibly both made in the same factory or certainly from the same part of the world. The American black light says made in Korea. The English one or the one that was bought in England does not. Well let's give it a little test. The whole idea of black light is to make certain substances shine or glow in the dark under the influence of their light. First of all we'll try the, the standard bulb type. Let's see what happens. Get it screwed in. Um, make sure it's the right one. Yep, that's the 240 volt one. I don't want to put the 110 in and find that it's uh, on the wrong, the wrong voltage. That light has come up. It's a lovely light, as you can see. Behind it, I've got a dish which contains some detergent powder. There is white, there is whitening elements within the powder itself and with all the lights off you'd expect them to sparkle. Next we have a normal drying up cloth. It is clean, it's just come out of the wash. On the side here we have a, 
a cord which you would hold. It's actually a lamp. It's a dynamo torch. And the lead is white. Show shows up white. And also the lead of my setup. Now let's darken the lights and see what happens. Right, we've darkened everything and note there's nothing sparkling in the dish. The um, towel is just a light from the bulb itself. It is not fluorescing in any way. The strap of the torch, that isn't. If you look in the room at various things, you'll see nothing because there's just not enough light. So what we'll do, we will take this out after lowering it down. It is very, very hot. So I do apologise while we wait and see what happens. But before we do that, I've got here this violet bulb. As you can see, it's a lovely filament. It's the old zigzag filament. And this doesn't profess to be, to give out UV light or anything. So let's see what happens here. Once again, nothing, bring it on to full brilliance. It's on full brilliance now. There's no sparkling. Nothing is fluorescing. Looking round the room again, we can see exactly nothing, nothing at all. Okay, so let's take, we'll remove this, this bulb. Remove the other one, which is still quite warm. And screw in the uh, the compact bulb still screwing it in that has now lit up what a difference the detergent has got sparklers in it even my wall has got like specks of I dread to think might even be dirt but anyhow, in the detergent there is sparklers. The towel which was next to the lamp, that has started to fluoresce. I put my hand in front of the bulb, you can see it cuts it out. Bits of paper show up. The cord on the dynamo torch lights up. The electric leads to the lamp lights up. If I hold it up to the window. That is my my alarm system. That has come a light. I tell you what it's not showing up. My white cat is not showing up. She's right in front of the camera of the camera now and that's not showing up. But If I stand out the way of the actual lamp, pieces of paper on the wall show up and a calendar shows up. Other bits and bobs show up. So I think we can safely say that the lamp which is now on is in fact producing UV, true ultraviolet. I've now turned some lights on so we can see what we're doing. Anyhow, the purpose of this little talk was to more or less demonstrate different types of 
coloured lamps, I'll say coloured lamps, the only true UV is in fact the bulb that I'm looking at now, the Pro Light Plus. Those other ones are not UV. And in all fairness, the word UV does not appear on the lamp or the packaging, just black light. So I would say that if anyone's contemplating trying one of these for the UV effect, they're going to be, be very disappointed. And the last one we tried, which was just a normal violet coloured bulb, nothing about UV on that at all. So we can see that out of that lot, only one lamp actually gives UV. Anyhow, any questions please ask. Please subscribe. And once again, thank you for watching. Thank you.